Breaking news within the last hour, a jury has found state representative John Thompson guilty of obstruction. During a trial, Thompson testified that he did not resist arrest during a 2019 hospital lockdown. John Croman is live at the courthouse. And John, uh, we're told that John Thompson just spoke to all of you reporters about the verdict. That's right. Uh, he said he's going to continue to do what he's done. He's going to continue to fight for what is right. He says he needs some time to spend along with his family to, to consider his next move, which could be uh, responding to calls for him to resign for an unrelated matter. Uh, reports that came out about uh, reports about domestic violence. Uh, he was never convicted of that, but the reports are what caused uh, DFL leaders to call for his resignation. But he said right now he's not taking any questions, but he's going to continue to fight for what is right is what he told us. Now he told the judge upstairs in the courtroom that he respects the jury's decision. He is not sure, or he doesn't really respect the decision to charge him with this crime in the first place. Here's some of the summary from uh, today's uh, closing statements. The entire case seems to pivot on whether John Thompson actively resisted arrest after being asked to leave Norse Memorial Hospital that day in 2019. Sergeant Chris Woodall testified that Thompson twisted his wrist and stiffened up his body, so it took him 35 seconds longer than it normally does to put on handcuffs. In closing arguments, Thompson's defense attorney, Jordan Kushner, said his client was merely reacting to the surprise of suddenly being handcuffed and told he was under arrest at the same time. Kushner told jurors the real reason Thompson's on trial is because he called the officer a racist, which is his constitutional right. A prosecutor, Derek Archambault, told jurors that this case is not about race. He said this case is about how Thompson put his own anger above everyone else and how he put his needs and priorities above everybody else. Now, the uh, Hennepin County District Judge Michael Brown uh, sentenced uh, Representative Thompson to 30 days in the workhouse, but made that a stayed sentence. It has stayed for six months. So if he doesn't have any similar instance or convictions in the next six months, he won't have to spend any of that time in the workhouse. He also fined Representative Thompson $200 plus $78 at court fees. So he's out $278 over this. Again, this was a misdemeanor case. It was decided by a jury of six. That included four white women, one black woman, and one white man. And uh, they were in there for about three hours. At one point, they came back into the courtroom to watch all the body camera footage again. And it was my take there that, you know, there, there wasn't necessarily evidence on tape showing, um, you know, like this traditional resisting arrest, but there was a lot of shouting and yelling on the tape. And I'm sure that had something to do with the juror's decision. Back to you.